Hello everybody and welcome back to the darkest dungeon. We are here again within the her? I said her. We are here again within the cursed estate. I have readied a team of level fives as well as Enigma, our level six, um, the unknown, and sort of set up a pretty good build that I think should do reasonably well here. Um, we might have to switch a few things around actually. I've just noticed, yeah, the claimants can actually do a good amount from uh back in position. Four. So I'm going to swap these two around because I think Enigma does better off in these two positions here. Yeah, there you go. Look, so that, that works out quite well. Um, but yeah, so let's take a little look over. So we got uh, Mars, Willow, Smith and Elise and um, our Unknown. And I think this is a fairly good team. Of course, Unknown just being there as the level six healer to keep everyone tied over. Smith and Elise also do some good healing. We've uh, set them up with the uh, Disease Skull for the hero attack was blighted because we're going to be playing into the repurst quite often. And I thought that we'd buff up uh, our allies crit chance with the debuff target plus crits received because this lends itself quite nicely to this that we've got here. 13% crit chance, ac accuracy buff as well. As well as prot just because Willow's health's rather low and we're not playing the low health strats with Willow at this time. So I think that's the better idea. And then Mars, similarly, we've gone with his Paldrons here that he start, that is his class specific. Giving him some prop as well as a little bit of speed and a little bit of crit. And then I've played into that crit, giving us some bypass stealth as well as a nice chunky bonus to our crit chance for a very, very high crit chance. And that should mean that we're getting a lot of crits, which should deal with our... Um, should deal with our... Uh, negative to uh, the start of our base damage and also the stress that we're taking. We've also got Rune Adventurer here as well. I don't think anyone else has got anything similar for runes here, but we'll see. Um, no, but we do have some decent stuff across the board here. Unholy Hate is going to be very, very nice. Um... Definitely get some good stuff going on there. We are going into the ruins today. Uh, and I did just want to quickly mention, and this is something that I that I think people should sort of just speak on as we go. I won't, I won't do it this episode. But I kind of had a little look around because we've actually got a lot more crystals than I thought. We had a lot more shards. I think there's a few of these that we could potentially get. We have 153, so that means we can get two at the cost of 75. And... I've seen three that I think are really valuable. The first one here is the elixir. Plus 20% healing skill, which is nothing great, but plus 20 healing skill if Hippocratic, and Hippocratic is a quirk that gives plus 20 healing skill. And not only that, but on use of a friendly skill, you have a 2% chance to get Hippocratic. So that is potential to get Hippocratic on the class, as well as a potential to get a nice chunky plus 60% healing at maximum, because you're going to get 20% normal, 20% from having the Hippocratic skill itself, and then 20% for the trinket, giving you plus 20%. So that'd be 60% for this one trinket, I believe. And that's kind of insane. So I think that that could be really, really valuable. And the other two I looked at, this this one here, the Crystal Guard, minus 25% crits received, which is incredible. That's that's a really, really huge reduction in crit, uh, crits received. As well as friendly skill per guard ally and friendly skill self-block. So I'm assuming what that means is, for example, if we're playing as Man, Man of Arms is the class that I kind of saw this as good for, we could set up with Man, Man of Arms and then use things um, that affect the whole team, like a friendly skill. That would set up a guard on, I don't know if it would do every ally or just pick one at random, but it would also give ourselves a block as well. And I just think all around that would be a really incredible defensive, uh, defensive one here. But then this other one, this is full offense and it sounds really fun. It definitely has some huge downsides, but it's very good. This here, the Glutton. On attack hit, buff self with 35% damage and 10% crit, and give speed. And remember, buffs can stack up to three times. So you're getting plus 30% crit and plus plus 105% damage. But the clincher here is you will also debuff all of your team for a total of minus 45% damage. So you're going to have to have a team that is able to debuff rather than deal damage or apply blights and bleeds uh, to do that most of their damage. And, but, like, imagine, imagine the glutton if we set it up on someone like Henry Jekyll. Henry Jekyll does between 6 and 30, really low crit chance, putting that crit chance up by 30 and that damage up by 105% seems insane. 
Like, absolutely insane. And as well, he has Finisher and Hasty here that are both really good. In fact, I'm quickly going to, um, I'm quickly going to go and lock some of these in here. Uh, plus five crit after the first round. Yeah, we'll definitely lock that in. We could have removed the negative one as well there. I should have, I should have done that, to be honest. That was kind of stupid. Uh, we could have removed stalked or soft, but, oh well, um... I suppose we could just cancel it, then put him back in. I don't know if that's how, that's how that works. I'm going to try it. Wait. You will not be refunded the cost, but the hero will immediately be available for use on quests. There was no cost. I'm going to try it. Can I put him back in and grab that and remove that? Yeah, there you go. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I think soft is better. I don't know, actually. No, I'm going to I'm gonna undo again. I'm actually going to go and grab finisher and get rid of that instead. And that's better off. There you go. He, he's in there. We could do some other heroes as well. Uh, I do realize that. There's probably some things that we would want to get rid of. So let's actually take a little look at some heroes that need leveling up that we haven't really removed anything from. Um, evasive. We might as well get rid get that. And then we'll steal items inventory. Um, minus 25 stress healing skill. Minus 15 received. You allow the pressure to uh, succeed to hinder your mood. Minus an accuracy after the first round. I'm definitely going to get rid of that. Okay, that seems good. And then, Mary, do you want to get rid of anything? Optimist, he is always nice. And... Um, plus 10 damage, that's actually pretty good. Obsessed with killing. Let's just get rid of those. There you go. Sorted some stuff out. That's fine. And then, is there any level 6s that we might want to get rid of some diseases on? Let's just see what disease we got here. Don't really care about leprosy all that much. I don't really care about removing it. Overfeeding's fine. Leprosy again's fine. That's mostly fine. We want grey rot on you. Influx, minus 20 dodge. Yeah, definitely get rid of that. Octavia, we don't care about that. Influx again. Does Influx have any other moves? Uh, well, sometimes, yeah, definitely get rid of Influx on you as well. Okay, that sorts out our team nicely, just for later on. It's all free, so we might as well. And yeah, like I said, so definitely, definitely let me know which one of those you think we should buy, because we definitely should buy at least one of those. But anyways, our team is ready. I think we're good to go here. This should be a relatively decent setup, and we're going to go for a medium champion ruins and jump right on in and see what we can get done. Um, I'm a little bit worried that our health might be a little low for what we're doing. Um, not health, sorry, a healing might be a little low for what we're doing. But otherwise, I think we're fine. Uh, I know that there's some stuff that, that we need Loudenum for in here, so let's grab that. And let's embark on a journey here and see what we can do. We do have one Dire Inch to go through from uh, Dragon Lord here. And this is by Baron. I was finally sent on an expedition after waiting for God knows how long. Surprisingly, this curse I've been afflicted with actually came in handy, although some of my allies and teammates are a bit peculiar. But what was even more perplexing were the creatures and manners that, um, manners that were in those warrens. Pig people, giant squid-like beasts. Just what was the owner of this estate doing? Indeed, what was he doing? My God, some horrible beasts out there. But... Like I said, this team should be raring to go, ready. We are very, very uh, close to being able to go out towards the Darkest Dungeon. But yeah, I'm excited. I think this team's really interesting. I feel like... I feel like Smith and Elise are kind of just like, what in the hell are these guys? Whereas all three of these, I feel, would get on quite well. I know Enigma's kind of, as his name suggests, an Enigma is unknown to people. But I feel like him and Willow... Although completely different in backstory and, and like their creation, would still have something in common. Just because they're kind of strange outcasts from the group. We've got some Burn Lance people here. But yeah, I'm just sort of hoping we can do some good stuff here. So we can do this poison to do some knockback and give ourselves some stun. We could reduce damage. I think reducing damage is actually a good idea straight away here. But it's, we're always going to get that nice knockback. Uh, we get a free action on this, so I'm going to go for that. I know that does damage to us, but it's free actions, though. Uh, and then we're going to go with Life Drain. And that's going to up our HP a little bit. Plus 4 maximum HP for 3 battles. Uh, and then here we definitely want to be setting up Repurst. And we want to be upping our Repurst damage as well. Giving us that mark. Hopefully should mean that these guys are a little more intrigued in going for us. 
I, I believe we have the um, the light on Enigma here. We do indeed have the last light, so we're, we're ready with that. Not as effective as normal, uh, but still not bad. Um, we can use this here. Oh, actually, this is a... Yes! I didn't realize that would work, but it does. That's super useful. Okay. Um, of course, the bleeding here doesn't matter. But we will go for a slight S wipe anyway. So I was hoping to get a kill there, but we unfortunately didn't. This is good, though. We're going to get a repost here, which should give us... Ah, uh, no blight, unfortunately. Should be ready. Get another impale going in with a repost. And there's the finish. Okay. Um, I'm going to go with the thrust again here. And yeah, there you go. Go for a nice hit. Very nice hit indeed. Health across the board is looking a little weary here. You're dead. A nice dodge as well by Smith and Elise there. Bump in the night. That's a little, but not too much. So the good thing is we get to use this every round for free. Which is something that I didn't think about or predict, but works very, very well for us. 32.45. Okay, we'll definitely heal you first. A nice critical heal there. Awesome. That's really nice. The Arcane Favor buff there is going to be just amazing. And as well, across the board, people are getting um, buffs to their damage from that, I believe. So, I'm going to do this. I'm going to set that up. Gives us some damage reflection. I think that works. We got repursed for just one more turn. Do you know what? We'll activate that again. Why not? And we don't need to cure Blight, I believe. Let's just set that up. Get that ready. These guys are going to be mainly reposting and then in for the cure blight and bleeds when needed. Otherwise, they're kind of just here to level up. Nice damage reflection there. A nice hit there as well. Should be seeing crits coming in rather rapidly soon. There's more life drain there. Beautiful. And I think here we just go with a nice heal on you. Works out quite nicely. Again, this is great that we can get this buff going. It's buffing up their damage every round, slowly but surely. But more importantly, it's um, giving us stuff like bleed chance that we can use, uh, which obviously isn't super useful here. But more importantly, it's making it so that everyone keeps their prot up. And it's a free skill. It, the, the last light is just too strong. It's so insanely good. So unfortunately, we can't do much here. So let's, uh, let's just try and de-stress someone that's stressed, which is us. Unfortunately, no de-stress. Oh, no. Huge de-stress. Okay. Reinforcements have come in, unfortunately. We took too long, but that guy in the back was pretty difficult for us to get. Of course, you crit the body. But that did stun you nicely. We got that going. We've, we've got some interesting stuff here, because we've got two different characters that require them to use a move first to activate their skills, essentially. Um, I'm going to go for a hit here. Hope for the best. Impale coming in. The repose was unfortunately down during that, but you did finally get Blight, and we got some damage reflection in there as well, of course. Damage reflection is unfortunately dependent on the damage that they deal, so the damage reflection isn't ever going to be insane. A nice setup for these guys, though. A nice heal across the board yet again. We'll go with that just to get rid of that body. You should be dead to Blight. Oh, not quite. There you go. There's a stun on you as well. The stun coming out there is so nice. So we buff up the stun skill with our other skills. Like, multiple uses of it. Keep buffing up that stun. I realize I can use my Undying Rage as well, but I don't need to use it right now, so I'm not going to. Um, I'm going to pull you forward, I think. You're, you're kind of in an awkward position. That actually worked really nicely good. Um, and there you go. A nice strike on you. And then there should be you dead next round, I think. Damage reflection coming in for three. Oh, no, we don't, we don't have it up at the minute. But there you go. Nice kill and on a crit as well. And you can just see this crazy bonus to our uh, our damage and prop going up. It's lovely. It's exactly what we want to see. It's exactly what we want to see. Now, we do have slight issues with this team uh, in terms of, like mixing around in surprise chance like 
I do think that if we uh, if we do get surprised, things are going to be a little more tricky than they should be. But I feel like I feel like there's a few a few moves that we can do from a few different locations. Shouldn't make it too bad. I'm just a little worried about Enigma being pushed to the back and not being able to heal. As his heal is, is very, very strong for us right now. We have a battle here. A very tough battle here as well. This very tough battle indeed. Here's this um, Loudenum coming into action here. We can get rid of that horror there. Our light level got drastically reduced there. We're going to take on some heavy stress here, I think. Uh, so we'll buff up our stun chance first with one of these. And I'm going to do it on you first, I think. I want to lower your damage as much as possible. This guy's going to give us a ton of horror. We just got to accept that. Um, damnation. Plus 66 damage received. Holy feckles. That's insane. Um, I'm going to set up this. Gives us that restoration. Take some of the damage off some of the other guys. And then I'm going to heal you up. I know that you've got restoration, so you don't need the healing. But we get a bit of stress reduction as well. And it's quite a hefty stress reduction, honestly. So pretty good. And again, activating the repost is hugely important. So we're definitely going to do that. Having two people marked that we can take the damage off of the squishier heroes is going to be really, really nice. So now we're set up with plus 70% stun chance. Not likely to get a stun here. But in using this, we do deal damage and knockback and build up our stun chance. And double. Double on those crits. And we actually got a stun. Wow. I'm surprised by that. Holy shit, that's a big hit. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. You need the heal. Wow, Lash of the Tail is going to push back. This is where I was stressed out, but it's okay, it's okay. We're doing alright. What sort of damage can we deal here? 7 to 10 isn't that good. I think we do that on you because it's armor piercing. Gives us a kill there. Still haven't managed to get any damage on this guy in the back line, and he's definitely our... Uh, our, our biggest threat right now. Oh, I forgot to do our arcane favor there. We really should have done that first. Always got to do that first. To heal across the board and ups our prot, so... Very worthwhile. We'll probably get rid of the horror and enigma next, but otherwise we're fine. Um, let's just go for the kill on this guy. Not a lot of damage. This guy does have high prot, but we'll see what we can get. Um, I think I'm going to try for the stun again, even though he's got stunned buffed. Yes, we got it. We got it. Stopping this guy from being able to do high damage is great. We are getting we are getting some really big stress hits, some really big crits on us at the minute, which is less than ideal. Set up for another one of these, I think. But definitely do that first. Please make sure to do that first. And we need to heal ourselves up. We need we also need the stress heal too. Unfortunately, we didn't get it. Wow, this 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 thing's strong. 12 damage on this guy that's got 40 pro is kind of in, impressive. I'm going to go for the double here because we can. I think we need the extra damage. But we are not doing a lot to this guy at all. Um, you've got stun resist. I honestly think we go for the stun again, though. Oh, dodge that time, unfortunately. And this time I need to heal you. Just in case. This dude's still able to get away with it. I'm actually going to go for attack here and get some bleed on this dude. This dude needs to die as soon as possible. And I think we can get away without healing. We really should be using a Loudenum here. We haven't been using it. It's fine. I don't think our stress is bad enough to have to use the Loudenum yet. So I'm not going to. Because you're definitely dying next turn. So let's actually go for you this time. Lower your damage. Because your damage is pretty insane. In comes the cackle. Okay, so we go with life drain here. We go with life drain here. Buffs up our maximum HP. Maximum HP is looking real good now. Um, and I think we'll try and pull you. I don't think it'll work. Yeah, you got a lot of move resist. But it does at least give us that plus six crits debuff, which I think is pretty important. Even though we don't have our repair set up now. Okay, we're definitely going to just heal up here and try and stress heal ourselves. I'm hoping we get it. 
Unfortunately, missed it yet again. That's a shame. We really need it at this point. Nice. Minus 40 damage. That's good. Okay, we definitely need to get rid of that horror immediately. Light seal on you. Keep it going. I'm going to... I'm going to reduce your stress a bit. You, you are getting a bit too on the nerves. Little bit too scary for me. Definitely use Loudenum here, remember? Get that gone. We have to try and stress heal ourselves. Come on. Yes, we got it. 12 stress healing's too strong. Oh, we only got eight that time. Inspiration and improvement. Okay. Um. We can just life steal on you again. Does good damage. You're left on one HP, sadly. We should be able to finish you on the next round, though. The cackle comes in once more, so you'll one extra round of huge stress, unfortunately. And we finish the beast. Wow, that was uh, that was a stressful fight, both in game and out of the game. As victories mount, so too will resistance. We'll see how it goes from now on, though, because these guys, eh. We might need to camp to get rid of some of the stress. We might be okay. Maybe we'll get a natural virtue again. That was that was insane when that happened. The turtle melon getting a natural virtue. I've never heard of such a bizarre thing happening. Got to remember... Oh, I don't know what I did there. Got to remember we're probably going to have some of the um, courtyard enemies coming forward soon. I'm sure of it. Ooh, we got burn wardens. I think, if I remember correctly, three burn wardens in a row isn't that bad for us. I, I think that these guys, aren't they better when they're... Oh, no, because he can do that. Okay. Okay. No. This is actually terrible. <laughs> I was like, this won't be so bad. And then I, yeah, I've realized, actually, this is pretty fucking bad. That's a lot of stress. A lot and a lot of stress. I wish I brought a lot more Loudenum than this. I wish I brought a lot, lot more Loudenum than this. We, we are going to take a stress hit that is hefty. Very hefty here. I've got to go for this. Oh, no. I was like, I need a kill before they get another turn in. Hopefully get a stun here. Yes. That's very important for us. Oh, one HP again. Can we stop getting the one HPs? Iron Maiden's going to hurt here. Yep. Bleed and stress. Okay, stress checks are definitely incoming here. We've just got to accept that. Um, I think we can go like that and then like that. Yeah, nice one. Nice little combo there for us. I don't know what to do here. Do we? I think we just go with the stress heal tactic and try and get as much stress healing as we can. Good. Need to kill one of those bodies, though. Nice. That life drain animation is so cool. Shackles, good miss. Thank God. Stress reduction on you coming in. You still got that on you. I didn't even realize. That's bad. I did not realize you still had that on you. Oh, nice heal there. Only a stress reduction of four, though. Shame. Another life drain. Okay, bleed coming in. Not too bad. Not a hefty bleed at all. There you go. Okay. So stress is a problem, definitely. I didn't realize it was going to be as bad as this, but... Evidently so. Evidently so. Finding the stuff is only the first right. test. Nice scouting, now that's really good. Curio, 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 curio. Unfortunately, we're not getting any luck with uh, getting the quest items early. This seems like a definite running out of torches sort of situation, so I'm a bit, a bit scared about that. That's a quest location. Okay, so this is pretty good. 
decent. I will get rid of them for some money. Who's good at trap disarm? 60, 80, 110. That's not only great because it's good trap disarm, but also a nice little stress heal. We needed that. The light. Only the 10 torches safety. remaining. This isn't the worst battle we could have had. This isn't the worst battle we could have had. I'm going to set up this straight away. We're a little bit low on health anyways, but also that damage reflection is going to be amazing. Both resists the move. Ooh, that's a chunky hit there. And it pushes us back as well. This this isn't too bad, pushing you back. But if you get pushed back one more time, it's going to be terrible. And, oh my god. Can you... Wow. Can you, like, leave him be, please? Okay, then. So we're going to have to do this. Unfortunately, I didn't want to have to do that, but... He, this is the person we're going to be focusing on anyways in terms of uh, stress healing, so... Getting the heals on him is fine. Still, that's a little bit worrying. Yeah, I was just about to say, because the targeting on him is, is going to be non-stop, I think. And it very much is. So another crit on him could lead to some very sour situations. Um, Because we've got the restoration, I'm going to go for a, a, a nice little hit on that guy. And oh, that's beautiful to see. Thank you, Willow. Thank you. That is beautiful to see. Bit of damage reflection coming in there. That's nice. Hopefully a stun coming out here. Yes, one stun. There you go. Again, need the healing across the board here, but you need it more than anyone. And please keep go please keep going with those stress heals. We're keeping it somewhat managed. I'm going to keep on with the healing, to be honest. I think that it's more important that we keep everyone top tough on this sort of battle. Finish you off with yet another crit from Willow. Amazing. And now I, d I do believe that you have a hard time. Yeah, I'm going to say you have to bayonet jab, don't you? That's good for us. Very good. We go with this against try and get another stun. There you go. Got one. The stun, the stuns with uh, this dude is insane. So valuable. I'm going to keep on healing you because you need the stress heals more than every more than anyone. So we're just going to keep keep going with that. There you go. And set up with a bit of prop. Good stuff. Another one of them coming out. Shouldn't matter too much. You do get some of that damage reflection as well. Another kill. Awesome. Nice one, Willow. And a stab for you. Already stunned, of course. And this time, I'm going to stress relieve myself now because uh, we're actually the lowest on health and need the stress healing the most. We did get it. Nice one. This has been a bit spooky. Again, go for more stress healing here. We can we can deal with it at the minute. This guy is still stunned, so a very easy kill coming up next round. A crit of four that's kind of annoying because that is going to stress two of us out. Yep. There you go. There's the kill. Now, we are going to have to make some decisions on where we want this to go. I think we get rid of that for now because we definitely ain't going to use that. And we know, to, we know we can avoid that way. Oopsie, didn't mean to do that. Hope for the best with pathing here. Hunger again. That's unfortunate. I mean, we've actually got quite a lot of food. We're not too far gone with the food. It's more torches that we need to worry about. We're on, uh, what, we're on now nine. And we've still got, like, over half the dungeon to go. We're probably going to have to do parts, part of this in darkness. What we'll do is we'll let our light level run down and then camp. Because camping does fully refill your torch. Ooh, a map's very useful. This allows us to see. Okay, so let's have a little look-see. Quest location there. Okay, so so actually we can we can close this one out very quickly here. Glittering gold. Because we can loop around this way and we only have one battle along that way. That's very nice to see. Now we could get a surprise fight here, but I think once you've mapped it out, that's that's very unlikely to happen. Wow, eating again. Thank god we have a lot of food on us. We can come through this way. Next quest location is here, and we will grab that and take that over the last loud number. Actually, let's take it over the holy water. I do bring a lot of provisions that I never end up using, but it's just it's better to be safe than sorry. Ooh, damn. We have got a unholy ironwork, the lost artifact artificer here. That's, that seems like it could be difficult. 
I don't know what this guy does. He doesn't have great stun res air resist, though, so we might be able to get him. He has a lot of prots. I'm going to try and hit him with moves that, uh, that go through armor whenever possible here. He's actually going down very quickly. There's a good chance we get him out of the way straight away here before he has a chance. Very good chance indeed. Confusion. Nerves. And panic. Nice. Okay, we've managed to get this guy down to just one HP before he he's managed to do a single attack. And I think looking at him, that's probably very, very good because this guy looks brutal. Ears. Vision. Brutal. The Iron Warding. Of course, he's got a guard that's going to buff his prot as well. So, yeah, this guy's just a tanky boy. But we're going to kill him here because he's only got one HP left. And that actually ended up being a lot easier because we got the surprise. I imagine having not got the surprise there, that would have gone very, very differently. I reckon that guy could have made this living hell. But we only got him in a hallway battle, so not so bad. If we'd have got him in a, a proper room battle, I imagine that would have been a lot, lot worse. Anyways... This guy is, is going to go down so fast, it's kind of insane. 61, 63, okay. Do that on myself. Ah, unfortunate. Yeah, you're going to go down, sir. There you go. Annihilated. Indeed annihilated. Indeed. Some good stuff there. Success so clearly in view. And we make our way down to this room here. Of the light? Mapping's so useful on these areas when you can just know. You just know that you can go straight to the quest locations. A handsome reward for a task well performed. There you go. And that, we finished this one out relatively quickly here. A lot quicker than I was expecting. A fortune. We'll grab that. To be spent. And I'm just going to continue adventuring and make our way back and just do some camping. Because why not? We might get some backwards traveling, yeah, stress there. But I gotta say, we're not gonna get a nighttime ambush here, so we might as well camp. A moment of respite, a chance to steal oneself against. The okay, so we got horrors. reduced torchlight by fifty. Nah, that's not gonna mean anything. That's not gonna mean anything either. Nope, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Okay, this hasn't been great. Okay, we can do this at least. Yeah, none of that really, really ended up mattering. Honestly. There you go, let's rest. The match is struck. Okay. A blazing we can star is born. exit out of this one now, and that was a very good, very good little battle the there. Will be grateful. The we also got this as well, which is really nice store. for Scourge. Very nice indeed. I like the, I like the look of that. Everyone's up to level 6. Nice. Um, plus 15 damage to melee skill. Plus 35 stress of torches plus 75. That's, that's fine. I can keep that. Uh, yeah, very, very, very good leveling there. We got everyone up to the required level. Take advantage of this faith oh my god. Lots of, things are, lots of things are free. It will not last. But yeah, let's quickly unequip. Sort out. We haven't been checking the stagecoach super often. I do apologize about that. Not really got anyone that we want anyway, sadly. Uh, we'll check in here as well, see if there's anything we want. Not really. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Definitely a good one. And I will see you guys in the next one.